Today, we're gonna turn this flannel shirt into this super awesome stocking. The holiday season is here and it's a perfect opportunity to upcycle some flannel shirts into some brand new stockings. So I'm gonna go over exactly how to do this and it is so quick and simple, you're gonna love it. We're gonna be using all the fun details on the shirt on the stocking as well. So we are gonna keep the pocket so you have an extra little pocket on the outside of your stocking. And then we are gonna use the cuffs of the shirt for the cuffs of the stocking. So let's get into it. Let's start making the stocking. The first thing you need is a stocking pattern. And if you don't already have one, you can download one from sewingastasia.com under digital download. So grab your stocking pattern and your flannel shirt and let's get to it. The first thing we need to do is cut two pieces of the stocking out. Now I'm gonna make sure that I'm placing this on the shirt so that way I get the pocket on the front of my stocking. Now there's a few other pattern pieces to the stocking, but I'm going to be using parts of the shirt for those pattern pieces. So keep following along to see exactly how I do that. So here's my pocket and I'm gonna be placing my pattern right on top of it. So that the pocket is right at the top of the stocking. And now I'm gonna weight it down. Make sure it's nice and flat. Don't worry about if you have a seam over here, it's still gonna look great. Make sure everything's nice and flat at the top as well. Make sure you don't have any extra layers caught under it from the shirt. And then once you have it weighted down, go ahead and cut it out. I ran into a button here with the rotary cutter, probably ruined my rotary cutter, but let's snip off that button, get it out of the way. Now we can continue cutting. I was wondering why it wasn't going through. Okay, so now we've got our stocking front cut out on one side. How cute is that pocket? Now we have one more to cut out and I'm gonna use the other side of the shirt. So I've got my other stocking piece placed down on the shirt. And you'll notice that the toe is going over the seam on the side. And then we're running into the armhole a little bit here. Totally fine. It gives it a little extra personality. So let's go ahead and cut this one out as well. Super, super easy. Now we have two stocking pieces cut out. Now you should have a right and a left. So always make sure that you're flipping your pattern over so you end up with two pieces that are mirroring each other. Now that I have the body of the stocking cut out, we need to cut out the cuff for the top, which I'm going to be sourcing from the cuffs of the shirt. And I need to get a nice little loop for the top of the stocking. And I'm going to be using the button placket here. So we just need to cut it to length and that's it. So easy. So I'm gonna take my stocking loop pattern and I'm gonna place it on the placket here so I know how long to cut it. There we go, so easy. And it's all finished for us too. So this little raw edge here, we can just clean that up, cut it away a little bit. If you wanted, you could turn it in, but you know what? I like it. It gives it some personality. And if it frays a little bit on the side, totally cool. You like really can't even tell with this plaid flannel. And the buttonholes are on it, which give it such a fun, cute detail, really showing that we've upcycled this shirt into the stocking. Next, we're gonna cut out the very top of the stocking. So it's a little cuff here that goes on the top. And I'm actually gonna be using the cuffs of the sleeve. They fit right across really well, which is awesome. If yours don't, that's okay. You can just use this pattern piece and cut out fabric from other parts of your shirt. This pattern piece is a cut too. So I'm going to be cutting off both sleeve cuffs to create the top cuff. So I cut off both of the cuffs and I also left about a half inch seam allowance above the cuff here. So now these are all ready to sew to the stocking. A really fun detail that really makes us an upcycled stocking is that we still have our buttons and our buttonholes for the top of the cuff. And if you're making multiple stockings, you can totally mix and match the plaid, the cuffs, the loops, the front and the backs of the stockings, the pockets. You can really have a lot of fun with all the different plaids. If you're enjoying this video so far on how to make an upcycled Christmas stocking, make sure you subscribe to Sew Anastasia and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. Now let's get back to finishing up the stocking. The first thing we're gonna do for sewing is placing right sides together of the sock portion. And then we are going to sew all the way around, making sure we leave the top open. So we are gonna come down around the toe and right back up. 
making sure you leave the top open. I'm going to be using a half inch seam allowance for this and make sure you backstitch at the beginning and the end of this. And when you get to the end, back stitch and cut. Now that your stocking is sewn together, it should look something like this. Now we wanna leave it inside out and we're going to take our loop and we're going to take the raw edges of the loop and place them with the raw edges of the stocking up on top, right at the back seam of the stocking. So opposite of the toe. And we are just going to pin that in right here. And now we're ready to attach our cuffs. Now this part is really tricky on how you place them right sides to wrong sides on the fabric. So follow along very carefully so that way your stocking ends up beautiful. And then we just need to sew one more time and we're done. It was that easy. So I've got my stocking inside out. And now we're going to take the right side of the cuff and we're going to place it on the wrong side of the stocking. It is so important that you do this so that way the seam allowance ends up tucked under the cuff and we have a clean edge on the outside and the inside when we're done with this. So now we are going to pin this all the way around. And now what you wanna do is the same thing for the other cuff if you're using these cuffs. So right side of the cuff, wrong side of the fabric here and pin this down. Now, because I've upcycled this with the cuffs, when I get over to the side here, they are going to overlap a little bit, which is gonna be really cute. So just make sure you pin these on so you know exactly where they are going to overlap. So you can kind of see what that's going to look like. Looks like a little Peter Pan collar at the side seam there. So again, we're gonna place this one all the way down flat. And then we're gonna take the other one and we're going to overlap it. Now that we have everything pinned on here, it's time to go to the sewing machine. We're gonna sew right at the edge of the cuff there, which would be our half inch seam allowance mark. So I've got my loop in here and this one pass of sewing is going to attach everything together. So let's go sew it up. So we're going to be sewing in a circle. Make sure you're sewing real close to the cuff here. Make sure you back stitch when you start and just work your way all the way around. Make sure you take out the pins when you get to them. When you get to the loop, it's gonna be really thick. You might want to increase your stitch length. When you get to where you started, just overlap your stitches by about a half inch and then make sure you back stitch and cut. Now that we've finished sewing it, let's turn it right side out and take a look at it. Check it out, it is so cute. I just love how this turned out. I love the cute little extra pocket on here. I love the idea of these cuffs on here. I love the overlap here, it's so cute. We've got our button loop with our little extra buttonhole detail in it. And they just look so nice overlapped like this. What a happy little accident for a cuff on a stocking. So when you're making new stockings this year, think about upcycling them from shirts that you already have. Repurposing things is so awesome and it feels so good and it's great for the environment. So think about upcycling shirts into stockings this year. I know I'm gonna make a bunch of these this year and my family's going to love them. And don't forget, if you need a stocking pattern, you can download one from my website at sewingastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. I hope you had fun making a stocking out of a shirt. I know I did. What a great idea, right? Love it. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I would love to know what you thought of this upcycle. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe so you have lots of fun sewing content to watch. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for following along today. And don't forget to add me on Facebook and Instagram, and TikTok and Twitter, 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 whatever, you know, all those other social media websites. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all those other social media websites so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And don't forget, I also teach sewing classes in my design studio here in Chicago, Illinois, and I teach them virtually. So make sure you check those out at sewanastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye.